worship His majesty Unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise Hello! Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel on radio. This God sent ministration every day for divine intervention and visitation on your life, your family, your business, your outfit, your health, everything about you, you desire God to intervene for. He comes as you listen to this anointed ministration every day. The Bible says he sent his word to heal them, to prosper them, to deliver them, to establish them, to elevate them, to promote them. I can go on and on. The word, the word. We are here sent by God to bless you. Don't miss it every day on this radio station. And don't just let it be with you. Extend it to members of your families, your friends and your neighbors. Ask them to tune to this radio station every day at this time. It will bless their soul. We always start with faith confession. Saying what the word of God says to our lives. It is what the word of God says that we stand at the end of the day. You may not feel like it. You may not be saying it. That is what is called faith. Say it. Keep saying it. It will come to pass. If you can be as loud as we are here, please be loud. Take this confession with us. Say, this is my day. This is my season. This is my month. This is my, month. This is my, month. my covenant day of blessing. And my covenant month of enlargement. I shall break forth to the right. And I will break forth to the left. I prophesy all and breakthrough in all my endeavors for my children, for my family. My going out is blessed. My coming in is blessed. Every word I say is blessed. Your word says in every labor there is reward. I declare my handsome reward in all my labors. I declare profitable outcome in all my effort. This week, I'll take it back. This is my take it back month. I will take it back. Whatever the enemy has stolen from me, stolen opportunities, stolen resources, I'll take it back. By my redemptive right, I have escaped poverty. It's not my portion. By my redemptive right, I escape sicknesses and diseases. I escape untimely death. It's not my portion. Good health is my portion. A happy family is my children. Excellent children are my portion. A focused life is my portion. My heaven shall be open continually. Nothing will close my heaven. No door will be shut against me. In all my battles, I declare I am a winner. I am a victor. Never a loser. I have won. In the name of Jesus, I am not a minus. I am a plus. I am a value adder. I'm not a problem giver. I will never come down low. God's grace is on me. God's favor is on me. God's presence is on me. Therefore, I will shine from glory to glory, from power to power. I declare I am more than blessed. I am more than favored. I will flourish in Jesus' name. Let your amen be strong. As you have said this, so will it be. Wow. You will not just be making confession. You will be seeing the realities of your daily confession. Now let's go into the word sharing segment. This broadcast is segment by segment. And we are taking it topic by topic. We are currently on money making. Money is a central issue. Money is important to every human being on life. How to make money. How to grow money how to multiply money, how to leave wealth and legacy for your children. The worst thing that any parent can do is to leave poverty for the children or to leave debt for the children. That will not be your portion. 
You need money to live well. You need money to add value. You need money to serve God. You need money to even be a person of value and have esteem. And you can make money and be rich without offending God or man, without breaking any law, any principle, without stealing, without telling lies, without being corrupt, without being diabolic, without being fetish, without being an occultic practice, need money, clean money. That is what we are teaching here. And I have been teaching uh, 10 places that money hides. Please, uh, uh, before I get there, there is this word I say every day. You should write it. These are the truth and the fact about money making and wealth building. God did not create any man for poverty. You are not created for poverty. There is nothing God will gain from you being poor. Poverty was not God's original plan for man. Poverty is not in your DNA. Poverty was a byproduct of the fall of man in the Garden of Eden. Jesus Christ came to redeem man from the consequences of the fall. What will make individual rich and wealthy was born with each person. What will make you rich, famous, and comfortable came with you from heaven. No one can stop your prosperity except you through ignorance, through tradition, and through superstition or disobedience. If you discover your potentials, develop them, and deploy them, you will be super rich. Poverty is not lack of physical money. It is lack of ideas. It's lack of innovation. Put your hand on your forehead at this junction and let me prophesy to your life. Do so in obedience. I prophesy new ideas. I prophesy innovative grace. I prophesy super creativity to come on you now in Jesus name. Take off your hand. Riches and wealth have two dimensions the spiritual dimension, the physical, the natural dimension. And that's why I always ask you to hold a currency of your choice so that we can do impartation. There are two sides to riches and wealth. God gives opportunity for riches, but you have responsibilities to make it happen. The strongest force behind poverty is ignorance. Riches and wealth are tied to investment. There is no non-investor that will be rich I say this to you, please write it down every day. I want it to color your mentality. As a man thinks in his heart, so he is. As a woman thinks in her heart, so she is. It has to be in your mind first before it can be in your hand. All these things I'm saying under inspiration, they will change you. I've been talking about 10 places that money hides. I've said number one, money hides in people. If you meet people's need, they will open up their purses and their bank account transfer you money and then i said money hides in problems if you solve problems money will come today let me add the third one money hides in gifts and talents there is no single human being on earth that is not gifted or talented in at least one area of life or the other the creator god almighty ensured that no one was created empty as human beings we are stuffed with potentials and they are within us to sustain us in the journey of life. Even the disabled, they said there is ability in disability. There is no human being that is not gifted and talented, super talented. Jesus gave a parable in Matthew chapter 25 from verse 14. He said, for the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents to another two, to another one, to every man, according to his several ability. Straightway, he took his journey. Then he that received five talents went and traded with him and made the other five talents. The other two, the man that took two also do the same. What am I saying? There is no one that God has not blessed with gift and talent. Your gold is tied to your gift. Your profit is tied to your potential and your treasures tied to your talent as ignorance and inability of many to discover, develop, and de deploy their gift and their talent and their potential have kept them poor for generations. Many industry with billions turnover are done every day, all over. So you have things, all sportsmen and women, all musicians, all our actors and actresses, all our comedians, look at what the comedy industry has become the AYs and the basket mouth of this world. All our public speakers, the teachers have all come.
to validate the fact that money hides in gift and talent. I have seen people with unique gift and talent stay poor and complain of lack of money when all they needed to do was uh, to tap into the available grace within them like the spiders and his web. What many people call hobby today is nothing but creator's provision for their sustenance. Can you sing? Can you act? Can you cook? Can you make people laugh? Can you write? Can you bath? Can you sew? Can you make hair? Can you drive? Can you talk? Can you hear? Can you see? Can you walk? Can you laugh? Can you smile? Can you move? Can you sit? Can you stand? Can you run? Can you jump? Can you push? Can you carry? I can go on. I can go on. Can you think and talk like I am doing now? The list of possibilities is endless. I have seen people make money and become millionaires just by using their gift, their talent, and their potentials. Oh, Nigerian contingents just came back from Paralympics. Do you see what those people on wheelchair? Do you see the gold and the medals? Do you see the honor the federal government bequeathed on them? The same for all over the nations. Ah, you are too loaded not to be needed. You are too talented to remain indebted. It shouldn't be. It's because nobody taught you. Nobody has problem of money. Money is not difficult to make. What is difficult is finding a teacher or a mentor, somebody to put you through on time. And that is what God has sent us to do on this platform. Teaching people, you don't have to be stealing. You don't have to be a thief. You don't have to commit murder. You don't have to be ritualistic. I watched a boy on, was it on channel television, and this Kogi boy that uh, said he met a girl, they were chatting, and then he invited the girl over, and he said, I made up my mind that when, is it that me now? So when he come, I will use her for rituals. He said, I put codeine inside Sprite. I gave her to drink. And when I saw that it became weak, I lured her to an uncompleted building. I strangulated her. I killed her. I cut off her tongue. I cut off her breath. Nobody need to go that barbaric. And let me say this, I've said this before, money does not come from using people as rituals. It's all deception. Look at the, the, the witch doctor, the man that the boy want to take the tongue and the breast and the vital organ to look at his life. Have you visited where Babala would live before? Do you see how they dress? Well, if they cannot, if they have the power, they will help themselves first. Human beings cannot become money. It's a deception. Money hides in talent. Money hides in your gift. Develop it, deploy it, money will come. Nobody need to do any silly nonsense. And of course, money that comes from rituals, money that comes from fetish, something that comes from diabolical means, money that comes from corruption, from cheating, they are blood money. Oh, they are blood money. And the owner and their children and their generation, they are under a curse. Don't go that route. There is a better way. And that's what we are teaching here. Number three today, money has in gift and talent. Tomorrow, I will give you number four. But everybody, get ready for a face-to-face one-day money school on October 1. Tuesday, October 1, National Independence Day is a public holiday. I make myself available as busy as I am I, I, because I get bothered when I see people poor in debt. Many people have died because they don't have 20,000, 10,000 naira for medication. I see people live in squalor. Oh my God. This country is so blessed despite all the economic downturn, despite the political upheaval, despite our lack of good leaders. This country is so rich. You can tap money. And God has sent me to teach you. We will build more on this tomorrow. Please follow me. What is next now is testimony. Listen to testimonies. My name is Dikin Okorami Philip Ogrene Parobo. Hey, uh... I've come to appreciate this God that is too faithful to fail. First and foremost, I want to thank him for the life he has given to me, my entire family. I want to thank him for healing my wife of Pai. Yeah. And uh, lastly, I want to thank God for what God did last week. Last two Sunday, I took a convert to church, and uh, in, uh, in my church, every Wednesday we fast and we break with the communion. And as a deacon, I'm expected to dress on corporate because I serve the communion. So I told the convert that he would wait for me, but I used to close seven o'clock, and the service starts from six, although end eight. So I asked her to wait for me somewhere. So what I did that Wednesday, I always take my 
close to work. Mm. But I said, I will not have the time since I'm rushing up to pick her. So I just dressed from my place of work, put on my tie, my short shirt, and talking properly, only to leave the company. And all of a sudden, it was my news in all the management office that if you see Engineer Philip, he dressed on suit and was rushing to somewhere. We believe he's rushing to an interview. I said, how ah, can you go to interview in the night? So only for me to return on Thursday, and uh, my age showed he called me, why do you dress this way? I wanted to say something, something just said, don't talk. Yeah. Before I know, 12 in the evening, they called me in the HR office, and they gave me a paper. And when I read it, it was a 45% increment. Wow. And they were looking at me if I would sign. Wow. Because to them, they were believing that I went for an interview. I did not go for an interview. I was just surprised I signed and I took the paper. Wow! Yes. That's all right. A lot of things are happening here. A lot of things are happening. Nena Ozio, I'm here to return all the glory to God for his faithfulness. I thank God because all the mystery that our daddy is, is prophesying to us every morning is working. Yes. I thank God for the water. I thank God for the anointing. I yes. thank God for even the proof. Yes. I thank God for last week. This is the one that I want to share now because I have many. I, I, leave this, I leave the service on Thursday, went to work working, and I sat down, I see a lot. I remember that day that daddy said we should raise our phone, yes. for a lot upon a lot. Mm. I see a lot, I was afraid, I called my son, I said please, call these people, ask them, one of his, that did they make mistake because they have my account. And uh, my son sent the number to me, I called them, he said mama don't you like it? Uh -huh. I said, I like it. I said, I just give it to you. <laughs> Not only that, from that Thursday three today, I'm receiving money. Yes. Contract work. Yes. The thing that the one that I cannot even explain. I say, may his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Forever. You will get more and more. Good morning, church. Uh, my name is Ulishola. I'm giving this testimony on behalf of my mother. Mm. Uh, a few months ago, uh, precisely... Um, yeah, January this year, I was moved uh, for one reason or the other to actually move the funds in her account, what was left of our gratuity, you know, because she actually um, uh, left work a few years ago. So I moved all of the funds into my own account. And then um, I didn't know that God had, had a reason for that, you know, so I had already seen the end from the beginning. So um, last week, um, I was just preparing to go for the Holy Ghost service and then I called up my mom to join us, you know, so that we can go, but she declined. So um, it happened that I was just there waiting for the um, Holy Ghost service to start because we got there so early. And then she called me and then she, she was crying over the phone that she had lost money in her accounts that, you know, despite all of my warnings over the past few years to her about fraud stars, she still got defrauded, you know, by this... Uh, people that sold their hearts to the devil. So she um, told me this, and then I, I initially I was, you know, shattered because that was what was left in our account and everything was returned out. But it, it was just after then, I, it just dawned on me that, oh, you should actually thank God who, because you actually moved out, you know, a huge sum of money, mm. you know, a few months ago, mm. and that would have really, you know, broken her. Yes. So I just give thanks to God, you know, that, you know, something, some, something of that nature has yes. been adverted. Something yes. God saw that yes. ahead of time and adverted it. I'm giving glory to Almighty glory God. To God. My name is Mr. Eugene. I've been hearing of uh, Pastor Femi Emmanuel's radio program. I've never been to this church in my life. So last week, Thursday, the vexation came in me. Then I became so desperate. I said, I must be here, no matter the case. Then I came. When I came, I saw myself dancing. Because, in short, everything failed in my life. To the extent, exactly one year now, I was to travel to the U.S. for vacation and uh, medical treatment. I got to Lagos, everything failed again. So I made up my mind not to go to church or believe anybody any longer. But when I heard Pastor Femi Manuel saying that there is real church and there is real pastor that God has given to people, I said, well, 
Let me try. So I came here. After the program, I, I went home. Immediately, I alerted from the taxi. It was a call from somebody I've been calling, calling, texting, that refused to answer me. Then, the next day again, transfer from America, transfer from Nigeria, everything. The door started to open. People started to call. Then, divine health. I was not all right, even to sit down, stand up, and all these things. When I was dancing last week, Thursday, I had the singer, uh, Nobi say I they grace, now God I they pray. So I started to dance. Started... <laughs> wow, you will not just be hearing these testimonies, they will become your own portion too. Is today your bad day? Let me pray for you. Fold your two hands on your chest as I pray for you. I prophesy on you, happy bad day. The Lord will bless you. No power will cut you short. You will be rich and wealthy, happy and prosperous, God's way. The number of your days you will live. Say amen, amen, and amen. I need to hype again. I have told us that Tuesday, October 1, a public holiday, all roads will lead to the Dominion City, Adulogu bus stop, along the War Road, Ojo Express Road, Ibadan. In a one-day morning school, I call it morning school, because I want to unveil to you, please come how to make money, how to grow money, how to multiply money. There is a how, there is a how, there is a way to guide you there. It is for male and female, young and old, those already in business, come and come with your business material, your business document, your business certificate, your invoices, an item, a tool, those that whose businesses are growing, or your outfit are growing, your platform is growing, come also, you want it to grow further. Those that have not even started, you want to know where to start, civil servant, uh, out of school, graduate, you don't know how to start, we'll give you ideas of so many things you can start, male and female, young and old. October 1 is a public holiday, so please come, bring documents, bring items, bring things that connect to what is giving you money from your factory, from your shop, from your office, and from your platform, from your network. I will use those things as a point of contact for prophetic blessings. Bring a currency of your choice. We have said wealth and riches have two dimensions, the natural and the supernatural. We will take the two. Come in your own vehicle ample car pass and there will be no go slow that day it's a public holiday and then we will position buses at living spring chapel sungway by the popular petrol station the world road to bring people to and fro on tuesday october 1 but we have to pay for transportation telephone numbers to send sms or a chat conference is free one day morning school with family manual is free but you will have to let us know you are coming these two telephone numbers SMS or a chat to say I'm coming for logistics planning 0805 802194 0805 802194 and 0813-485-2813 0813-485-2813 Morning school is free but let's know you are coming oh come and reposition your business come and collect ideas Come and see the power of God. You will become millionaire, super millionaire, within a short time as you follow these teachings. Then, today, Thursday, is the prayer mountain service in Dominion City. That same Dominion City. Two services will run there today as usual. First service is 7 to 9 a.m., two hours. Second service is 9.30 to 11.30 a.m., another two hours. They are short, short services. So if you are hearing this on 6 a.m. radio belt, 7.30 a.m. radio belt, or 8.30 a.m. radio belt, you are good to come to any of the two services. People travel down from outside the battle, outside of your state, to come and attend. Bring items, document, telephone, an ATM card, invoice booklet, something from your shop, from your office, from your market, as a point of contact. And today's prayer focus is anointing for fruitfulness. God wants you to be fruitful, fruit of the womb, fruit of your body, mental fruitfulness, financial fruitfulness, marital fruitfulness, fruitfulness in all areas. You know what you are to bring? Bring fruits, fruits of any type, as a point of contact for impartation and blessing. You will wash and clean and eat it thereafter. Boom! 
Fruitfulness will start for you from all over. Invite your friends, those of you that are already coming, don't stop coming and make sure this thing build up. Anointing flows from the head. If God can make me fruitful, ministerially, maritally, financially, health-wise, he will make you fruitful. Come and do what we do. Come and see what we see. You will see people flowing there. You to flow with them. Dominion City, Aduloju Busto, along the road, Dojo Express Road. That's where people go every Thursday and every Sunday, and their lives are changed. All residents of Temidire Estate, Resident of Olon Tedo Estate, Jakon area, Aduloju community, Ianobodija, Ori of First Street, Alagbanyo Street, A3 Hotel areas, Rainbow area, Kajorepo Kajola community, Ajao community, Agowo Express, Barika Water, Ojo Bashorun, Orogon, Ashi, Bodija, MFM Bus Stop area, General Gas, Akobo area, Akala Way, University of Ibadan. All the communities I just mentioned now, you are not far from Dominion City. I just begin to wonder if people come from all over Ibadan. Ibadan is as big as a whole state. People come from all over. People come from outside Ibadan. People come from other towns, other cities, other states. People come to sleep over to a temporary mountain that we hold today and on Sunday services. You are so close. Be there. Yours is within a trackable distance. You drive one drop. Come in commercial vehicle. Come in your own personal vehicle. Ample car park, serene and protected. Oh, come, we will give you anointed man to free for praying and doing miracle. Oh, fruitfulness will start in your life, in your area, and from now on. What is left for me is the prophetic impartation of the day. Receive it. I stand in the name of God Almighty. I prophesy over your life. The strong man is displaced. Wherever the strong man has been operating in your affairs, the strong man is displaced. Amen. He says, when the stronger than the strong man comes in, he will bind the strong man. He will take the goods he has stolen. Anyone whose destiny has been stolen, whose progress has been stolen, whose anointing has been stolen, whose joy has been stolen, Whose good health has been stolen? Whose children has been stolen? Is your by the stop back to you? Amen. Doors open for you again. Amen. Help come for you again. Amen. Money will begin to flow. Amen. Enlargement begin to grow. Amen. Promotion begins to come. Amen. New ideas. Amen. New innovation. Amen. New creativity. Amen. New helpers. Amen. Destiny helpers. Amen. New patronage. Amen. Client and customers. Amen. All of you on target job. You will meet more than your target. Amen. Thank you, Father. Wow. You will not just be hearing these things. They will become the realities of your life. Something has just happened to you now. You will realize it later. Femi Manuel is my name. We will build more on this tomorrow. I love you. Have a great day.